Welcome to the full Nelson. If you're anything like me, you'd much rather spend your range time shooting than you would loading magazines. The other day I bought this Tipman M422 Elite rifle and with it I bought this speed loader that they offered which was not inexpensive. It was about 80 or 90 dollars but I knew that I was going to be shooting thousands and thousands of rounds through that gun using it as a training tool so I went ahead and splurged and got the speed loader and after that uh, I feel like I gotta have a speed loader for everything now just because it's kind of a game-changing thing to be able to go to the range and put that many rounds down range and not be messing around the whole time uh, loading mags so I'm gonna show you some other speed loaders that I got a hold of to load uh, Buck Mark, Ruger Mark IVs and TX-22, Taurus TX-22 if you have those um, this has got the extended base pads from Tandem Cross. Anyway, <clears throat> so I'm going to demonstrate how these work for you today. Pretty similar principle to what the Tipman I showed in a different video does. You've got your little hopper here. You dump your rounds in it, shake it. This particular loader right here is called the Lightning Grip from McFadden Machine. Both of these are from that same company. I want to say the speed loader itself was like $30 and then you have to buy a specific adapter for each type of magazine you want to load. It just looks like it's a 3D printed piece of plastic. There's a little button here that you push like this to move this little arm in and out. There's a little groove up here so you put this little piece in that groove and then drop the tail end of that in and lock it into place and that holds your adapter in. So this is for a TX-22. You can get some that will fit an M&P 1522. They offer a ton of adapters that this speed loader will work with. And so you can look at their website and see all of the different options they have. They didn't pay me to do this. I just think it's such an awesome product. Um, it's, it's made my range time a lot more enjoyable. So I figured I'd make a video about them because there may be people out there looking for a speed loader or looking for something like this. Anyway, I bought it specifically for the Taurus TX-22 that I have, and then I bought an M&P 1522 adapter to try with my brother's M&P 1522. He's already ordered one, so um, I may not even use that adapter. I'll just give it to him so he'll have a spare. But I have heard that these adapters over time where they're just molded plastic, the way the magazine retention is on this, you're basically just pushing this in against that plastic, okay? And it slides in, and that's how it holds your mag. Well, I've heard some people say over time these will fatigue and wear out and break, and that may be the case. I can't speak to the long-term durability. I just know that it works, and it works well. Um, as these wear out or break, you could probably either just hold the mag in while you load it or just order another one. They're like $7 a piece. So anyway, okay, so you insert your magazine like I just showed you there. Put your rounds in the hopper. And then you're going to give this a shake when it's orientated this way, upright, till all of your rounds fall into this little track. Let's see if I can show you what that looks like. Give me just a minute here. Sorry, I got one left. Usually you put a lot more rounds in here than what I'm putting in here to load this all the way. Um, and then you wouldn't be dealing with this finicky issue. But I actually unloaded this magazine, so I put the exact amount of rounds that will fit in the magazine in here. But anyway, now they're in this little track as you can see here. So now it's just a matter of orientating this thing so that gravity's helping you and then squeeze it and it will, this little plunger mechanism here is going to push those rounds into the mag. That last one sometimes is a little bit of a bugger. Oh, it looks like I've still got one more up in the hopper. Okay, we're full. So as you can see, it loads those mags pretty fast. It does take a little bit of getting used to, you know, there's a little bit of shaking and making sure it is plastic, that you're not doing anything crazy in terms of the amount of pressure you're putting on it or you break, break it, you know, don't force it. Uh, but it does work very well. It is much faster than loading by hand. So I dig it. Anyway, that's how that particular mag loader works. Now, if you have a Ruger Mark IV or a Browning Buck Mark or any firearms that take those types of magazines, they make this other uh, loader, which is called the Ultimate Clip Loader. Again, this is made by the uh, same company, McFadden Machine. 
And the way it works is the same principle. You dump all your rounds in the top, shake it up like this, okay? And then it, they all drop down into this little track here ready to be loaded. Now the difference with this loader is, is rather than it pushing each round in one at a time, I think they're able to do this because the Buckmark mags and the Ruger mags don't seem to have the rim lock concern that you might have with other types of magazines. But at any rate, it's got this big button here that interfaces with this screw. And you would usually adjust that to get the depth just right. Right now, I believe I have this set for the Ruger mags. I think it'll still work with the Buckmark mags, but it may leave me a round or so short. But the idea is you're just pushing this in all the way. It's compressing that spring all the way down and then it's going to drop all of these rounds in there and they just go in great and it loads the whole magazine which I'm not going to be able to show you when I turn it up right which that's why I'm showing you like this okay so it inserts like this when you insert it sometimes you will have to kind of give it a wiggle there's fully loaded mag um, you'll have to instead of just pushing it in and have all the rounds go in sometimes you'll have to just wiggle it in just ever so slightly in and out and the, to help those rounds drop in. Sometimes they'll all just drop right in if you get the angle just perfect. In fact, it shows your little hold level. If you can hold that level, that will probably help with that. But I find that a lot of the time I've just got to give it a little bit of a wiggle like that and my mag's loaded. So awesome product. Makes range time a lot better when you can load your mags basically as fast as you can shoot them. Um, so, highly recommend them. They've uh, been kind of a game changer for me. And as I mentioned, price-wise, pretty reasonable in my opinion. I think these two loaders with the Torx TX22 adapter and an M&P 1522 adapter were like $90 for both of them. And that allows me to load these three different platforms that I've got. So, oh, actually four platforms. One that I don't personally own, but I do have the adapter for, for this, this loader. So, this lightning grip, it might be worth looking into if you're looking for a speed loader look at their website and see what else they offer adapters wise because there were a lot of options i bet there were 20 or 30 different options at least that this loader will work with and from what i've seen it works pretty darn well oh one other point i was going to make is with this lightning grip somebody mentioned this in a video and i found the same thing the way this pushes the tips of the round and puts pressure on them to feed them into the magazine, you will get a slight amount of deformation on the tips of your bullets as a result of that. Now, that's not anything that's gonna cause a malfunction from what I've seen. I haven't had any problems with it that way. But if you were loading this in say like a precision rifle and you're like, oh, I'm gonna use a speed loader for, this would not be a good product for that because it's gonna slightly ding up the tips of your bullets. And if you need the absolute maximum level of precision, that could be a problem, but for typical range use and plinking and like steel challenge type stuff, that would never come into play for, for any of those types of things that are closer distances. So anyway, well, if you guys have any questions or comments or experience of your own with other speed loaders that work really well that the community would benefit from hearing about, feel free to leave your comments in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.